while to get into it, but I could probably you, do that. What are you getting into? Uh, right. Drive that van right into them. Okay. What, the one that's yeah. off in behind them? <laughs> yeah, I could control devices. Okay. <laughs> that's if it's wireless. It should be. Apparently these things are drones. What, the what the vehicles? The vehicles, yeah. Vehicles only are, only Coates has the automated the systems. Vehicles. These things do not have those. Like, there is such a thing as okay. manual control. And I think even Coates' van isn't wireless. I'm pretty sure you can hack into all vehicles, as far as I know. Yeah, but if wireless is off? They'd have to think about that when leaving the van, though. That's if the wireless like if, was on to begin with. Like, what if they just drove it manually? Yeah, I mean, you could drive it manually. It's just you could have your wireless on and drive it manually as well. Why would they, why would they do that, knowing that they're going to a combat zone? Factory conditions. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it's meant to be a drone, so. What the, what this thing or the one that? Oh, you're talking about the other vehicle. You're talking about the one code sounds. No, no, no this no. one. This current one in like, front of the clinic. I don't think that one acts as a drone, though. It's just a standard GMC van. All uh, vehicles are sort of considered drones at the same time. How so? I thought you had to get a custom rig in order to do that. You have to have a custom rig to, like, jack into them, but, um... Not to jack in, but to... Fuck. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look this one up. <laughs> not to jack in, to jack off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's see what the ruling says. Because if it's on the Matrix, I mean, shit. Yeah, You're but that's naked. if the wireless is on. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you buy a new car with anti-skid automatically set to factory settings. You usually don't think about it, but it's on. Usually they keep all the uh, the features on. Yeah, it's but what features on the... I don't think there's any wireless features on this thing, is there? I don't think it matters. I think that just everything is on it. Yeah, that's device. what I'm trying to figure out. On the um, H-169, it says that drones are devices, so they show up in the Matrix. Yeah, but they're not drones. Yeah. The, I think vehicles are considered drones for, like, everything, though, as far as I know. 170 what, did you say? 269. Oh, 269. That's not even this close. That's for drones. Yeah, I don't think that that... Hold on, let me... Well, I mean, it doesn't well, help they scenario. just lump some the crap into one section. Worst case scenario, I could just check the matrix if it's there. Yeah. Then again, it should automatically pop Vehicle up. Vehicle attributes are defined at 198, yada, yada, yada. Um... So they got the rigor console. I don't know where it says like. I don't think I don't think it actually has that. Because the only thing it glosses over is it's, it can either be electric or bio uh, hybrid biofuel engines, and it's pi used you use pilot ground craft to use them. I don't Are see you the on the actual page. You're on the. I'm on the vehicle page, and then I'm on. Then I'm on the other page, and the other page glosses over it too. It doesn't really say that. I'll just do a matrix search. Worst case scenario. Let the dice decide. All right. Oh, here's um, here's something. On page two sixty eight. Um, rigor command consoles and vehicles, including drones, are frequently targets of enemy deckers trying to get the upper hand. Yeah, the it. command console. If it doesn't have the command console upgrade, then what are, what are you targeting? Yeah, it says rigor command consoles and vehicles. And vehicles. So. Yeah. What page? What page? Two sixty nine. Still. I put it in the. Uh... Ah, uh, this, uh, let's see. I mean, there's things they can do to defend against it. Yeah, it would have to be an active defense, though, if I'm not mistaken. So if it's just a device, it would use its, uh, firewall? 
Unless, of course, there's a Decker on their team. So, first of all, you have to be in mutual signal range, meaning... Or that, yeah. Yeah, that's step one. Which is apparently one kilometer, so it's like mutual frequency range. As long as you're in one kilometer of the object, you're fine. Which is ridiculous. Yep. Oh, wait, no, that's, um... It's 2.5... It's a .25... It's a quarter of a kilometer per device rating. So what's the device rating you're using to hack with? Uh... Four, I believe. Okay, so yeah, so you can go up to a kilometer, but the vehicles probably has the lowest, which is 0.25 kilometers. But still, it's like, you can easily reach that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually two. Never mind. So, it, I'm still within range. The only thing, when you do a hack search, you'll know if it's on active or passive, and currently it is on passive. I can still get into it, mark it, and then yeah, take it. So, it's not a hidden. Yeah, you could turn it to active. So, currently it's on passive. Like, they didn't put it to hidden. Yeah. I'd still have to look for it either way. Yeah. I mean, if it was on Not hidden. really. Like, according to this, it's no. Once you once you do a search, you'll be able to pick up any passive or active nodes. The one you have to really search for is you have to use a specific skill called Detect Hidden Node Test to find hidden nodes if it's on hidden mode. Yeah, it'd have to do matrix perception. Yeah, so very that. different. So, I mean, if you do just a regular test, you could see if the node is if it's passive or not. So currently, it's on passive. Well, since it's a hundred meters like away from, actually less than a hundred meters yeah. from me, I could automatically see its device. Yep. So, so there you go. You know, it's so, a passive device yeah. right now, which you could turn to active. Yes, indeed. Okay. So. So, decryption, it's, um... Are these things decrypted or not? That's the question. Probably not. They're using factory, depends. so no, it doesn't have a decryption key. I mean, all I really have to do is mark it, become a privileged owner or some sort, and then just do it. Or I could spoof command. Uh, and we're going ahead of ourselves. We haven't even gotten to the... Yeah. We haven't even gotten there yet. We're just talking about strategy. So let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> so... This is the guy going into the door. Like, he's just, he's going in, and he's at a disadvantage because he's, like, running into the doorway and then just opening fire. So, yeah, um, he takes a minus four because I've taken cover. Yeah, so... I also get a plus two to my defense pool. Just wrote that in chat. He gets a minus four in what? To hit me. Okay. Besides that, it's like, what was... I get a plus two to my defense How come that works for me but not for you? That's weird. It's because you're using regular rounds. Yeah, so... It's the same reason my uh, gas rifle works. Oh, was, uh, maybe it's cannon. the round Goddamn. name. Maybe not, I don't know. No, well, first, uh, before dust, before you do anything, it has to hit the it has to hit the cover you're in. Like, it has to hit the structure of the cover, which I just lost the page on that. Okay. So I have to... Rewind or go to wherever. 197. Okay, so this is average material, so it has an armor of six and a structure of four. So likely four of the four of the damage will be absorbed by the cover. But you still have to deal with another what? Another eleven? So No wait, no, um, it's uh so, Uh this would have a structure of Six and an armor of eight. If it's a Why's metal that? table. If it's a metal table? Because it's considered heavy metal? Because, like, even hardwood has that. If, All right, if it's so, metal, then it's, it's... So, sure, we'll go with that. So it'll absorb six damage. Uh, it has to roll its armor first. To, um, remove some damage, and then... Why does it have to roll? Uh, okay, whatever. So that got a eight, that got an eight. That's a very strong table. Eight, eight d six. Eight d six. Oh, so it it's like sucking. Yeah, I just I misread. I misdid that. So one, two, three, one, four. Two, three, four. So it'll absorb so, four damage, or it'll it'll absorb four damage. It'll take four damage. So eight of the damage is going to be for the table. It'll take six, won't it? Why six? 
Like it only. Oh, it has a structure of six. Sorry, I'm going by the other structure. So it'll take six. So, so four six. So only yeah. one damage is going to penetrate then. <laughs> then you can just dodge that easily. So I mean, like a bullet. Like you feel the bullet just go through, and then you just you kind of shimmy out of the way. <laughs> And there's six of these, so, I mean, you kind of move out of the direction that the bullets are hitting. Like, five of them will hit, and then the sixth one will penetrate. Okay, so... And then he uses his remaining movement to just get, like, he fires a burst, and then... It's a full auto burst, and then he goes back into where he's at. Do I actually have a sound effect for that? I think I do. Pew, pew. <laughs> Not so something like this. And then God then he button. then he goes back into his cover. So unlike the other ones who rushed in, these guys seem to be a little bit more professional than the last group. So then we got Raven. So what's Raven gonna do? It seems like there's no open targets. They kinda know that if they step in there they're going to die. Oh god, it's glitched out again. Give me a sec. Okay. Close the whole thing if you gotta. Like close the whole close the whole browser and then just re bring it okay, back there up. We go. Um not gotta work again. Okay. Okay, so she's Stop gonna downloading porn. The... <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. Uh she's gonna take the blind fire bonus and shoot at one of these people. Um that... So she's gonna try to shoot through walls to Yeah, pretty much. So these cool. are what type of material? These are like it's a shop front, right? Maybe. Yeah, it's a shop front. I would say the most it's a heavy material, so you have to beat an eight. So let me just roll those. Sixty-eight. So the material alone is not going to resist. Like you'll be able to. It'll reduce your damage by six, but it will still penetrate. One second, doing a bit of math. Just to figure out the situation. Oh, wait, no, it'll reduce your damage by eight, because it's going to blow a hole, it'll blow a hole through the wall and then out to whoever's behind it. Remember, she has thermal vision as well, so she can easily see them through the walls. Oh, and she doesn't get the negative. Nope, um, not at all. Yeah, then it's just a... Plus just a straight one. shot <laughs> through a wall. Because she, she's taking an aim... Yeah, and then taking aim, so she has an advantage. Uh, Coates is kind of in the way, so he'll have to, like, duck a little bit, like, further, as a giant bullet whizzes over his head. Is it because you guys are rolling different ammo types? Is that why it's messing up? I think the ammo is what's messing with it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the ammo. Okay, so, boom... It goes, like, it flies over Coates, like, past his pillar, through the wall, which will reduce the damage by, let's see, it, uh, like, eight, because it's the, it's the two op to armor plus the structure. So it blows through the wall. That's what, that's, you currently have 18 damage, so 10 damage will travel through the wall. Now he's got to roll his, uh, there's no way he could have probably seen the bullet going through the wall, so likely he's got to just soak it. Yeah, if he doesn't know Raven's existence, then I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he, he, probably, he was probably not expecting that at all. So, Make sure it tickles it's his skull. the 10 damage versus the 18 arm, like, 18, wait, it's 10 damage versus 10 armor, so it'll still be stun damage. So these guys are pretty heavily armored, even with... Um, are you sure you did that right? Because um, armor piercing also affects uh, the structure stuff. The um... So that would do a little bit more, so that would be regular damage. Because um, if, it, if it goes through armor, then it'll take out the, the piercing... It'll take out the two armor points that they used to resist the armor. So, no successes. That means it would only reduce it by six of the structure, so you blew a hole in the wall. And then you still have 12 damage going through the wall. Then it hits the... so it's still... 
And then minus 8 on the target, so it's 12 versus 10. It'll do physical. And you only block 3 of it, so he does 9 physical damage. Which is pretty, pretty painful. I mean, not only did it blast a giant hole through the wall, now you hear, you hear an audible scream. Like, not a scream, but a roar of pain as the guy gets pierced through his chest. My leg! Correct. Like, he gets knocked forward, and then I guess another guy, like... Like, they're starting to realize that they can't, they can't stay here. To go in is to die, and to stay out here is to die. Run away! <laughs> Hopefully. It's, it's, it's like the, uh, the knights venturing for the Holy Grail that come across yeah. just a silly little bunny, but no. <laughs> okay, so... They don't have a holy hand so then we got Sam. So Sam is also Elzor, I guess. So, when determining wound modifiers, how do you do that for stun damage? Uh, I think it's uh, every... I think it's same as normal damage. No, oh, it's every every three is equal to one wound. Is a negative modifier. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's uh that's the standard the standard wound modifier is for every three boxes you have you get one wound. So since he has ten, you get three wounds. Okay. Yeah, he's just going to uh you hold action until he can see one and then try to thought control it. Okay, so all right, then we got Aaron. Aaron is uh, where is Aaron? He's covering the back door, but he shifted his angle to cover the front. The problem is, until they step in, we're in a holding pattern. Yes, us shooting them, them not shooting us. Yep. Huh. I mean, they shot at you, and they didn't do much. I mean, you're in a covered position, and you're ready for them. Plus, you kind of killed half their number, so they're a little bit skeptical about going inside now because. The one of the vehicles Hopefully, just blew Mara up. Hopefully, has some more deadly grenades. <laughs> wink, wink, oh, nudge, boy. nudge. No, I don't, actually. Okay, so, so what's Aaron going to do? What would he do? He's trying to look through his page. I mean, what can he do? Damn. He can do, uh, he can do a few things, but like I said, until they decide to step inside, there's not really much we can do. Yeah, he really doesn't have anything for that. Yeah, the okay. doctors. No the doctors out. taking cover. The two officers are with him. Like, I guess that's their primary. Is they're supposed to be protecting him. Yeah, he'll. He's just gonna wait for them to come around. Okay, so then we got Torb. Torb. Um, what was your plan? Uh, none of them have come in yet, huh? Nope. No. Nope. I mean, we bro- we're blasting them through the walls. Oh, well, they seem to have the. Uh... The uh, dirty work covered. I'm gonna do what I told you before. I'm gonna try and hack uh, the loudspeakers or intercom or whatever sound system may be in this building and uh, play music through it. Okay, so first you have to find out. Uh, let's see. So there's obviously an intercom system. Where's the intercom system? Let's see. Uh, the intercom system, like you can literally turn around, and there's the box right behind you of where all the electronics go through. <laughs> Oh, fantastic! I'm just gonna so, hardwire that. And were you were you even attempting to like be near it when you first started, or do no. you not even know? So, no, this is just it just happened <laughs> to be there. So you just turn around. It's like, ah, oh, electronics. Well, fantastic, shiny. Okay, so you walk up to the thing. I mean, it's got a padlock on it. Oh well, that'd be a real shame if I didn't have a cybernetic arm or something that could probably rip that off. Okay, so <laughs> just do a do. What is strength? Yeah, it's, and unless you're attacking it with something. no, just roll a regular yeah, strength. strength. Let's see. Where, where the hell? Should be on main, I think. You can't actually roll from that. You just you see your strength, and you just roll that many d sixes. Oh. Yeah, it's that simple. Or the, the secondary way is, uh, the primary way is to, you go to the roll, like there's a, what is it, standard roll? Is that what it's called? Yeah, without wound or some shit. Yeah, the standard, up at the top of the page, there's the standard roll without wounds. It's like in the main page, the first thing on top of it. It says standard rolls. It says limit after, a, like what's... Um, don't bother. The limit you have is supposed to be your physical, which I don't remember what your physical was. 
Most of the time it defaults it to what it needs to be, but what is your phys your physical limit is five, so it's supposed to like say, all right, you can only roll this many dice on this situation, so you can only get five successes in total. Okay, so I mean, you put the limit in, and then you don't need a description or any of that. Zero. Huh. <laughs> so I mean, it sounds easy enough, but in in practice, it's like this lock is pretty um, well built. Are you using the strength of your cyber arm? That's actually what I was about to ask. Yeah, did you? Uh, oh, okay, so you reading. forgot something. Yeah. Let's see. Um, well, I'm going through your page now. Where's your Where's your cyber arm? Uh, ah, damn it! <laughs> you didn't actually. This is what happens. Oops, sorry. This is what happens when you damn don't. Uh... <laughs> yes, I am augmenting your buttons. page. I am. <laughs> Let me go to the augmentations. This is what happens when you don't write down the actual stats, and then you're forced to go to the pages in the book. Okay, it's cyber limb. It's an obvious limb. Now, how these things work is you have to have cust- you have to have customized them already. So, did you customize it to begin with, or is it just a limb? I have a shotgun in it. That's pretty custom, I'd say. Yeah, but it's um, not. Um, I didn't know there was a customization. Yeah, you actually have to add strength to, to it. You have to buy strength to the cyber limb. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure they've got a set minimum strength. I'm looking. Yeah, the minimum is three. It's it comes standard okay, with uh, so. three strength and three agility. Oh yeah, then. Okay, so is that on top yeah. of what you have, or is that? No, it, it's just three. Like when okay, so he he rolled his three, and yeah, then he like got that, he got zero. It's so. like that arm has separate uh, attributes yeah. from my character. It's yeah, so you rolled your three and you got zero. So this lock is pretty well on there. I mean, it's supposed to be tamper-proof, and it's like, okay, so that just goes along the line of, this doctor's not an incompetent, it's like, he's expecting even people with, like, cyber limbs to try and tear this off. You can try again, you have a second attempt, that's about as... I'll give that one more shot. Yeah, so you can re-roll what you've already rolled. If you get a second zero, it would be funny. (laughs) Okay, so... So, I mean, you're... Trying to make sure I'm doing this right. Dice pool is three because of the yeah, dice pool is three and the limit is five. So you're like you're grabbing the lock and you're trying to you just yank it off and it didn't work and then you finally decide it's like all right that's it and then you just you pull really hard and then the lock just insta- it's not the lock that breaks it's the metal that it was attached to that breaks. Yeah. So you pull it hard enough to bend the metal. It's like one of these things is going to break and so. The metal that it was used, so, like, the front panel is now all dented out of place. The lock is still intact, and you're holding it, and it's got, like, pieces of torn metal on it. I'm just going to toss that to the side. Yeah, I'll so you just toss it to the side, and you open the panel. And you said you're going to try to play music? How? Um, hijacking the uh, intercom and playing it through uh, from my deck. I mean, it's pretty. It's easy enough. You you clearly see that there's a there's a data jack there. You can just plug your laptop straight into it. I could do that shit in real life today. Yeah, of <laughs> course, uh, you know the network is encrypted, so you have to try and get rid of that. Like it was supposed to be for. This is uh, you're basically cracking into the main medical, the the main medical server, which has all the client information as well. So it's encrypted. If you jack in physically, there is a, uh, a they get like a debuff because you're physically accessing. Yeah, obviously. Well, that's what I was planning yeah. on doing was mm-hmm. physical. Yeah, he did that's physically access it. Of, but you still have to get into their network. Into into yeah. yeah. So what does he have to roll to get in the network? Uh, I think he has to mark it. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken. With everything, you got to pretty much mark it. Well, mark it. And then you have to edit the file. Which file is he editing? <laughs> um, He could manually just uh, select which file in, if he's in a host. Yeah, but he's, he, he has to file. get by the encryption first. Like, he hasn't even gotten past the... They're like, you're talking about editing the use. file. He has to get by the, the firewall and stuff first. 
Well, as long as you first mark it, you could use edit file with one mark, and it should work. All right, so... So you could either use uh, a brute force attack, or you could do hack on the fly. If I'm not mistaken, that should do it for you. Let's see. Does he even have... He has brute force. But he's already used two complex... Uh, two yeah, so he's out of actions. We'll do that next. Yeah, All okay, right, so yeah, Mara, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> So I mean, the guys that that dude, you know, like you could clearly see through the hole that you just blasted through the wall. Which hole? Um, the one that oh. the armor-piercing bullet went through. <laughs> like, there's light coming in from the hole in the wall, but it's not big enough to like that see out work. of. It's just there's light coming in, so the hole is like right about here. I'd call that a cold shot, person. Yeah, pretty much what that is. <laughs> yeah. Like in Raven, she doesn't talk yeah. when she's doing it. She just kind of gets it in her head that you know this is where it's, you know center of mass, and then just fires. Fine. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna shoot at the other one instead. Okay, so yeah, do note that he's also through a wall. So it's yes. like you're not to be shown up. Now you're gonna use a bigger gun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take aim to increase my accuracy. Yeah, Cree is gonna yeah, use whatever. Sure. Like she quickly sees that it's like, uh oh, it's like I'm in. I'm not in the spot I should be in. And she, like, That's moves out of the way, seeing that, you know, there's a, this big gun now pointed in her direction. Yeah, so I'm gonna push it to the limit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We should just have that queued up. It's a sound push it to the limit? Yeah. I don't even know if that's legal for me to do so. Game. You're not in making terms money of, off In terms it. of copyright strike. Yeah, if you're not making money from it, you're usually fine. Mm, that's yeah, what I thought strange. originally, but that's not the case. So what modifier do I need to put in for oh. shooting through a barrier? Uh, you have to first hit the barrier, and that's that's not a modifier. That's just me rolling the how much armor it has. How much armor? It's like eight armor. So eight d six is the traditional armor rating. So it'll block. F how much is your armor pierce? Now your pierce is armor, so you'll hit straight structure, which means twenty one damage minus eight. For the actually six, what is six or eight for the structure? Six. It's six. All right, so you lose. You got six successes. You lose six successes. So it still does fifteen damage, and then he's got to roll his soak. I doubt he'll survive, but let's just see what happens. So ten. It's gonna blast him for fifteen damage. He will block seven of it. Okay, so 15, that'll be 8. I'm surprised any of him is left after that. So you got a little... Like, you blew a hole through his right, his left shoulder, and he's also knocked forward. Is he... Oh, he's not an overflow then, is he? Uh, no, not yet. The, you hit a different target. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the first time I've shot someone and not instantly killed them. Yep. Because you blasted him through a wall. I mean, you put an auto, you put a visible hole through the wall, along with you know this. So, yes. real loud sound. I'm gonna blast fuck, through the I'm wall. I'm gonna be deaf by the end of this. Yep. I mean, this is not this is not healthy for the patients. So you blast a bigger <laughs> hole through the wall. Like most of that wall collapses, and then he gets blown forward. So there's two guys in the street. They're both bleeding heavily. And you can see out of this hole, I mean, there's debris and stuff falling a little bit. So, I mean, what do you do after that? That's. I just look a little sad and, mm -hmm. and look at... What, that he's still out there? <laughs> yeah. He's not fucking missed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's a zero. Like Phase, you already went, right? Not yet, no. No, I mean, like, didn't you do your actions before you... He held his action. Oh, you held your action? I right, held so, it, yeah. So now you can see some people outside, not many. Uh, they're down to two. There, she's down to two. Sam is holding his action. Um, so is... Uh, Torbjorn just went, so he's at zero. Alright, so FaZe, you're up again, then. Like... So I mean a lot of loud noises. You're you're standing right next to the the two loudest guns we have. Raven's gun <laughs> is silenced, so you didn't even hear her shoot. Oh thank God! <laughs> Would have fucking deafened me. 
Uh, let's see. I can I see that van over there? Uh, no. The there's no. There's no real visual from where you're standing. Matrix wise. Matrix wise, yeah, that's not like we already we just went over this. You can because right. it's in passive mode. It's not in hidden, so you can see the you can see the device. Not oh, great. So hack on the fly now. You got to grab that code and you got to slap it into the. You got to slap it into the chat box if you can grab it all. So six out of eight successes. Go. What is its resistance? Like, how do you resist a cyber attack? Uh, for hack on the fly, uh, let me just see. I have the whole cheat sheet. Yeah, please. <laughs> it's for it's intuition plus firewall. Uh, it does not have a firewall because it's not a sophisticated vehicle. So all it has is and into it. Actually, there's no pilot behind it, so there wouldn't be an intuition, would there? It's yeah, they can't even detect me in that case. So yeah, so so the, the vehicle. I mean, okay, so you're hacking it. What are you doing? Uh, in this case, I'm just slapping it with a mark. Okay, so it's marked. Now what? Uh, that's the only action I can do. It's complex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's got marked. Now we're back to Sam. Okay, so are we just going to hold their actions indefinitely, or what's happening here? Like He was uh, waiting for someone can, to be seen. You can um, prepare an action for the next yeah. round? I mean, Aaron can see straight out of the hole that you just blew through the wall. Yeah, I was going to make him shoot. Okay, that so... Fucker. So Aaron's going to follow up, like, once he sees the hole and once he sees a target out there, he's going to follow up with a bullet shot of his own. So, Hopefully this works. And what about and Sam? What's Sam going to do? He's waiting until he can see one and he's going to try to yeah, so. control them. Uh, I mean... Now, zero. Say what? There we go. Yeah, so... Boop. How come his rounds are working properly? I fixed it just before. Okay. Just how'd then. you how'd you do that? I changed it from archery to pistols. Okay. Yeah, but why is it roll? Why is the success rolling properly? Oh, I have no clue. Great. <laughs> that's what that's what I meant. <laughs> All right. So you got thirteen damage. Doesn't actually do any sort of. So he's firing a pistol from that range. Yeah. Is there a disadvantage to that? Nope, it's well within his range. well within his pistol range. So he is currently on the ground, so he can't again, he's can't really do much. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so <laughs> even impressive. not only do you not do you don't do any damage to him. Like you shoot him and just nothing. Trolls hit him in the groin metal. Yeah, no, what the fuck? He's got heavy armor, and he's a troll, so he's got some pretty good... Like, what were... The only thing that seems to hurt him is the armor-piercing bullets and the, the gauze weapons. God I damn. mean, these guys walked in <laughs> expecting a fight, so they have heavy armor on. But, yeah, this, uh, so standard arms might not work against them. And plus, oh, he's used shit. it... Plus, that's a hollow point round. That's not... That's like... That's for, uh... Soft targets, not for hard targets. <laughs> You're shooting the wrong bullet. <laughs> yeah, I thought I clicked regular. Yeah, whatever. Oh, well. Well, you already shot the bullet. So, what's Sam doing? Yeah. Sam is waiting till he can see one and then trying to thought control them. Okay, so he's going to be waiting indefinitely then at this rate. <laughs> so, we're back to yeah, dust sorry. again. Um... I can still see. Oh, no, I can't. You can kind of see it. You'd have to, like, kind of move Mara a little bit out of the way in order to get a better shot. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay in the same position and let him have partial cover. Okay. Which is a minus two to my shot. Mm -hmm. If I can get to equipment. <laughs> you just blew a hole in the wall. I mean, he could somewhat hit him. Yeah, that's the uh, minus two to the shot. And that's about the as much debuff as you get. <laughs> Plus one and shots. Oh, that's why. I, I think I figured out why your thing is messing up. 
Hold on, let me try something. Jesus, only one success. Because I think I think I know what it is, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. What do you have like? What is this? It's like you have multiple clips of this round. Yeah, so I can track him. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me see if that works. Nope, doesn't work. All right, so that's not it. Because the integer is too high. You got a one? <laughs> Damn, that sucks. All right, so eleven. So you got a mi You already put in the minus two, right? Oh, I forgot. That you I forgot to put in the minus one. two. Um, I I put in a minus one because I thought I'd get a plus one for aiming, but then I just remembered that you can't aim and take cover in the same action. But I want to take cover, so. Shit. Yep. Um, I'll already do that. I mean, you could have just re-rolled the... <laughs> you could have just re-rolled the... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So, 13. And he's got... You still don't have enough arm... Like, even with arm penetration, you don't have enough to do any sort of physical damage. You have to do stun damage. I think you need to change the round type. Completely. Say what? Um, I'd have to spend a turn reloading. Yep. So that's let's see. So that's fifteen versus the thirteen. So it's going to do pure stun, and that's it. Blocks. So it's about seven. So it'll do seven stun damage, which I think will go over his. Oops. That was there we go. So it does go over slightly, but it's not enough to cause him any physical harm. It's like, but it just maxes out his stun bar. So you, you, it's like pelting him with these shock bullets. Just these random explosions are happening when you hit him. I right, keep his stun health over, like one over, because it, like, if anyone else does stun damage, then yeah, so. 12. Boop. Alright, so... That's Dust. Then we got Raven again. Who's got a second shot. Yeah, Earth, this system is a little different. We go by the initiative score. Which is, if you have score, you can use it. <laughs> it's If you can get more than 10 score, you can have pretty much more turns per turn. That's how, yeah, so, um, that's how the system works. Agility and initiative. Yep. I've forgotten the names of the them. higher those go, the more actions you can do in one round. Interesting. Yeah, so Raven is up again. Where's she firing? Same person uh, same or guy. same guy she shot already? Yep. Um let me roll something. Uh, we're going to go under the assumption that she's accurate enough to shoot through the same hole that she just shot out of. Like, she just did a quick double tap. <laughs> but, I mean, this is... Wait, how many rounds in a... How many clips... How many bullets does she have in a clip? Because she's doing um, three-round bursts. Fourteen. So she has plenty of rounds. All right. So she shoots three rounds quickly, and then she shoots another three rounds. It's kind of weird. It's like it's a burst-firing sniper rifle. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's not burst fire, it's um, semi-auto. Okay, so she f quickly fires three rounds. Yeah. And she fires another three rounds through the same shot hole that she just made, which means she doesn't have to do the structure penalty, along with... Let's see. Must I even roll soak at this point? Sure, why not? <laughs> he has a 24. Let's see if he actually survives it. Fuck. That is a no. So, 10 armor versus a damage total of like 14. <laughs> so, that is. The, these shots will be the one that just kills him outright. Like, he's going to get pierced with three more rounds, and then he's just. His blood and body parts are going to be splattered all over the ground. Boom, headshot. 
wrecked. You can do this all day. You can do this all day. Okay, so then we got them. It's like, okay, so how will they respond is the question. Uh, let's go with composure, because that's a lot of crazy stuff that just happened right in front of you. So, composure. So, the big guys, they, they stay composed. I mean, they got a job to do, get the job done. What about the what about the lessers? Do the lessers have the ability to stay composed uh, at big, seeing people this much destruction? Uh, the two big guys would have to roll separately, because one of them's got a wound penalty. Okay, so he's got a wound penalty... So his compo like what's his wound penalty now? I think that's with the, the amount of wounds that's one two three four that's like six. Jesus. The other one is still composed even though he's bleeding out. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> and everybody seems pretty well motivated <laughs> to complete the job. Yeah, guys, let's go in and get killed. <laughs> So, I mean, um, you guys can't really see what they're doing, but they are doing something. Like, from where you're sitting, like, um, I don't know, it's, um, how would you, how would you describe it? If it's an explosive device that's, like, wireless, right? You can see it on the Matrix? Yeah. If it's within 100 meters, you don't have to look for it. Okay, so, I mean... Phase, you're still into this. Like you could see that he's starting to plant. He looks like he's planting explosive charges on the wall. Phase, you've still got initiative. You, you've yeah, Phase thing. still has initiative, so he can see. He can see that you know they're planting explosives on the wall. Them. Yep. So they're priming explosive charges to try and blow the wall open. Shit! It usually takes two. Uh two turns for me to actually be effective at something. <laughs> okay, so it's either you hack it now and the explosives don't go, or whatever happens, I don't know, just take your pick. It's a, it's a, it's a rudimentary explosive. I don't know, but it'll still hurt. It's not like a super sophisticated computer system you're trying to break into here. Didn't you just take control of that car? Yeah, he did. No, well, he marked, he I marked, marked the car. I have to mark it two more times in order mm -hmm. to take it over. God damn <laughs> Yeah, the complex systems take a lot of marking. All right, so uh, so he's planting well, bombs on simple, the wall. If there's a simple system, I could probably just use hacking to disable it. You're going to have to, because you don't know what's going to happen once he gets there. All righty. Uh, where's my skills? Boop. <laughs> okay, so I mean, like it's you—you you easily take control of the device. Like it's a—it's a basic s explosive charge that they're planning on the wall, and you take control of the detonator. Yes, indeed. So what oh do you plan to do with that? When they walk up to it. <laughs> yeah, just if they try to hit the button, just command it not to explode until they get near. <laughs> okay, so. This will be brilliant. So when somebody checks it, just blow it up in their so, face. So, I mean, like, you you hear them hustling, like, away from it, and, like, he mashes the trigger, and it doesn't go off. I see the commands coming in, like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, like, he's, um... And so he just says hell with it, and he just aims his gun and just fires at it. Does he have explosive bullets? No, he does not. So, I mean, they're dumb. They're pretty, they're pretty dumb, <laughs> so... Because in in all in all effects, this might just ruin the charge. It won't set it off. <laughs> do anything like C four. Yeah, of course. So, no, like I said, they're kind of dumb. So. <laughs> so I mean, the C four doesn't have a lot of health. Like he fires at it, it doesn't go off, and he's like, he doesn't know what to do at that point. Like. <laughs> just just let it hang there, you know. Because you can't really, like, C4 is one of those things where it's like, it doesn't set off normally, so... I, I guess we're just gonna have to pack up and leave, guys. <laughs> I mean, they're... Yeah, pretty much, like, they seem... I don't know what they're gonna do. Alright, reroll your initiatives. Sam is still on the just kind of chill until <laughs> things happen. Yeah, this one wasn't so bad. Okay, so... So, Earthroot, how do you roll your initiative? You click yourself, you go to your page... Yeah, you got it right. 
Let's see that if it actually updated. Um, no, it did not. You did not click your character while doing that. You can click the zero and just change it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, he could, but I mean, we need the picture. We need the picture of his face, his ugly mug on here. <laughs> Computer's glitching out now. Yeah. Is he? Me or? Me, my computer. Okay. Earth, did you hear what I said? No. Or I don't know if you're activating I... your button either. Maybe you're talking, but. No, I. I okay. just have a cat that has decided to be a particular nuisance to me right now. Okay. So you got to reroll. All right, you have to. Out. You have to click your character and reroll your initiative. I'm gonna give you the fourteen, it's just I need the I need the face on the turn order. Right. Okay, there you go. That do it? So yep, that did it. So you got the fourteen. We still need Raven. Okay. And I rerolled their initiative. We still need Aaron, also known as El. Like that's no zero. That's you. You have to roll Aaron. No, nope, yeah, I'll get it. See how inconvenient this is when people don't play. Next time you get to bag on your fellow players as they are <laughs> causing so much misfortune <laughs> into you. Yeah, I at least had an excuse for not being here. Yep. Damn good one. Them, I don't, Aaron no, they that. they don't have. They didn't even contact me. So. <laughs> All right, so who gets to go first? They get the first. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, what does that do? Why is that? Let's just go with this one because that sounds more interesting. <laughs> Kid Torborn, what's your what's your plan now? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing. Okay, so I mean, you got the panel open and you're you're jacked into yeah. it. Now what? All right, now how the hell do I go about hacking into the intercom system? Since you're physically there, I think hacking would just work. Yeah, just hit the hack button. What was it hack on the fly? Oh, you could just use hacking skill for this one, I think. Oh, hacking skill? Alright, so go to your skills and yeah. hit the hacking button. You mean the things we didn't set up? Yep. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zero, what happened? Skills were not no, my no, problem. No, 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 yeah, it no, was. No, 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 no. That was not zero. I, I mentioned that. You said, "No, nah, don't worry about that right now." It's not gonna no, I said effect. he said he was going to do it as we progressed. I, I said matrix actions and programs. That's okay. what I said. Some skills are all on him. Uh, <laughs> so, what is your hacking skill anyway? Wait, it's like it's in here. No, that's not it. That's it? that's phase. Vehicle combat. Why did that? Uh, why did that just change into somebody else? I don't know. My page just changed. Yeah, isn't there a hack command? Hack on there the fly. There is a skill. There's a skill. Well, I mean, you can just use hack. that. Yeah, it hack on the fly. Just, just use thing. hack on the fly. It's the same shit. <laughs> Except that's supposed to mark them rather than hack it. Okay, then that's not hacking then. <laughs> That just well, you're using the... the hacking skill. All right, so... so the outcome is basically the same. What is this hacking supposed to be? Like, did you ever... We didn't set that up, and you didn't choose how much hacking you were supposed to have. No. This is all under, I think, scientific skills. I suggest six. <laughs> no, it's not under science skills. It's under... Yeah, it is. It's under scientific yeah, it skills. Is. Hacking. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's just assume that it's six for now. Okay. So I'll roll hacking skill, and let me reduce that slightly. All right, roll hacking skill. All you got to do is press the roll button. Okay. So I mean, it's a it's it wasn't designed to be hacked by your machine, which is supposed to be what one of the best decks you could possibly get. <laughs> the best you can get legally. Yeah, so the best you can get legally, so, I mean, you easily bypass their firewall and get inside of the network, so. It's like child, it, pretty much it's child's system. play. Alright, so you're in the intercom system, what are you planning to do? Oh, I'm about to blast stuff, uh, Thunderstruck from ADC over the, uh, okay. ACDC over the, uh, intercom. Okay, so. 
classical music. So I mean that that's I mean <laughs> everybody like, like the the classical. officers and stuff are looking up. It's like what is that racket? <laughs> but but by now it's it's literally classical music. Yeah. So <laughs> like the the but still they're like looking up. It's like really. It's like what is that racket? Just. It's really just the officers and the doctor. It's like, and there's like wounded patients in here. It's like, yeah, you're blarer than that. It's like, what? <laughs> so, what was the purpose of that? Just for the laughs. That's okay. literally like he's, yeah, yeah, he's a prankster. All right, so, um, like, I guess while I'm there, I'll probably try and see if there's some security cameras or something I can also hack be somewhat useful, but I don't know if I can All do right, that. Alright, so, time. let's see. Hold on, let me, let me roll something. So, uh, FaZe, I mean, from what you see, it's like, they're getting back in their vehicle. Like, they see that there's a, there's no practical way to get in there. So, they're all getting back in the one vehicle that's still working. Oh, Great. This is gonna be good. <laughs> okay, so, and they start like they they pretty much turn it over and start to drive away. So, turn off the car. <laughs> Just turn the car off. So I mean, Better he's um report it stolen. Okay, so, so he's trying to turn the car over, but it's like it's not act because you're already inside its system, right? I can do simple things with it. So yeah. you're you're pretty much denying them from being allowed to. Turn it on. Car. So yeah. that will kill their initiative. And then none of them are hackers, so they have no idea what's going on. They can't really run it, so they're just stuck in the vehicle. <laughs> Anyone want to blow it up? <laughs> like they're trying to get comms. Like they're they're trying to get comms. Okay, so what about the comms? Can you like kill the comms from inside the? Like they're trying to call I... with their comms to other units in the area. I'd have to mark individually each target who's trying to call. Okay, so what's Aaron going to do? I thought he was going to shoot through the wind, that opening hole into that dude's body. Yeah. yeah. You should probably oh, use his assault weapon, not his pistol. <laughs> I only realized afterwards this dude has an yeah, assault weapon. It's just like how we realize you have an assault weapon. <laughs> yeah, man, okay, so All the pistol right. didn't work, so let's try the assault weapon this time. Oh, uh oh, got to change it. And, um, my little pony, Jesus, <laughs> it's prank war. All right, so moving on. There we go. Okay, so shooting his, uh, you have more armor penetration, so maybe, just maybe, you might be able to hurt this guy more. This guy can't really move <laughs> because he's like, most of his shoulder is missing from the railgun shot. So, 12 minus 6, that's 12 and 12, so it's going to do stun damage. Minus 5, so 11, 10, that's like 7, so in total he takes 4 damage. That is kill damage. Like, that'll cause enough damage to actually kill him. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, if his organs weren't messed up enough, you've just messed them up even more. <laughs> So he has stopped moving. All right, Faze, you're up, and it's like they're trying to call out and get some sort of reinforcements. Oh, God. There's four um, separate devices you have to worry about, or at least you can try and fry their network. I can just jam signals. Sure, that works too. Yeah, is, that, is, that okay. not, is that not friend or foe? That'll just jam everybody? That's just everybody in the area. All right, so... Do you at least give a warning uh, before you do that? Sure, I'll tell him, you know, your shit's about to get disturbed. Okay, so... My favorite. So, I mean, immediately some of the some of the people start, like, like the cops and the doctor, they start turning off their devices, knowing that the chat jam signal or something is about to come out. Dust also does so. Yeah, so... Um... Torbjorn, what do you plan to do? Because he's like, he's casting a jamming signal. 
That if he's physically in the network, I'm, it would, he's fine. Okay, so yeah, because I'm not wireless. I would actually chime in. It's like, what's that? You want me to throw disturbed on here? Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, so he did say disturbed. Yeah, so he's gonna about to disturb people. All right, so that easily overrides their signals, and now they're like they're jammed. They can't really call out. <laughs> Good. No more friends. Okay, so I mean, they're gonna if they really wanted to, they could send more because that's now they're calm dark. There's an explosion downtown. There's all this stuff. Okay, so dust, you're up. It's like all right, they're trapped in the vehicle. They can't call out. Like they can't get out because likely you're surrounding them. So they're in a lose lose situation. They can't drive out because the vehicle apparently doesn't operate as he commands it. I'll lock the door, okay. too. Keep him in there. Um, <laughs> okay, so... And then you yeah, lock so... the door, so... <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> run up and then run on top of their vehicle. Using my yeah, so... wall run ability. Uh, yeah, so... I, I will, like, run up the side of it. Yeah. So I have to roll a... Running... Yeah, roll a running. Skill. I preferably you're running up a side that isn't visible. Yeah, like, and they won't be able to hear it no matter what. Yeah, I mean they're too concentrated on now. Like comms are dead, the vehicle won't start. They're trying to get the doors open, but they're locked, so they're trapped in this metal box. So they're more focused on what's happening in the vehicle than what's outside the vehicle. So I can run up, like directly up two meters. Okay, so I mean it's not that tall, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, so so you run straight up the the side of the vehicle onto the roof. They can't hear your footfalls. I love being an adept. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just start aiming my pistol like straight down. Okay, so top side armor. If we but go I by... I can't shoot this time. Okay, so... No, but I'm, I'm trying to think of topside armor, so... It's got 12 armor, likely if you do hit it from the roof, you'll only encounter like 3 armor. Maybe 4. Okay, so... Still got Sam. I guess Sam's still idling, right? I mean, he's he's done enough at to, to, <laughs> to warrant a break. Tuckered out. Yeah, so... He's probably just taking a nap. Okay, so Raven, again. Damn, you're getting um, fucked up. Yeah, Raven just... shoots through the wall, shoots through the window at the troll. Uh, which one? I think both of them, both of the ones in visual sight are dead. And her current angle of fire will only go like that way. Okay, so Coach is going to have to move out of the way, because he's like... Like, Coach just yeah, moves she... over tomorrow. It's like, so, how'd you, how are things going? Like, because he's going to shoot. And problem is, she has to shoot through, like, two pillars and then the wall. Okay, then she'll roll over to here. Yeah, she might want to reposition she... slightly, so she only has one obstruction. And then, actually, she has two obstructions still. It's like, you have to yeah, go through the wall, then go through that. the vehicle. It, it's just glass, though. Okay, it's still it's still somewhat armored glass. So let me let me go look at the armored glass thing. Ah, I shifted pages. I thought it didn't have any mods on it. It doesn't have electronic mods on it. The most it has, though, it has armored glass at least. Armored ballistic glass is only it's average. It's less than heavy metal or heavy material. The most obstruction you're gonna have is the wall. So, first off, goes through the main, so it has, first we have to hit the heavy material, which is the wall material. And that's, and uh... it penetrates the armor of that and just... Yeah, it penetrates the armor, and then, oh, wait, why am I rolling that then? So, <laughs> and so it shaves off six damage, so that's 13, that's uh, 17 minus six, that's 11, so then it goes through the car itself. <laughs> Which has an armor of twelve, so it has it only rolls like a. It's just the glass. Oh, the glass, which is the glass has an armor of like six, which will penetrate through the glass, and only shave another four damage off. 
So that's 17 minus 6, that's 11, and then minus another 4, and then that's... That's up to 7, so it'll do 7 damage to the closest target, which you said is the troll in the front. Yep. And then he's got armor, so he has to at least roll his armor. Like... So that just went through, like, two objects. It put a hole through the wall. It put a hole through the building. Uh, somebody draw a line so I can start putting some blue st splotch down. Okay, so it put a hole through here, and then it put a hole through the front the, through the front window of the van, so... Stamp blue splotches. <laughs> Oops, um... So now there's the the glass has been blown out, like it's it's got a nice hole in it. And then he takes what? Gets ten it reduced the damage by quite a bit. Like it I think it but did it went below ten, yeah, so it's it does stun. So nice so it only takes like three stun damage after you blew a hole. But you have a you have another point to shoot through. Mm hmm So he gets knocked kinda sideways from the shot, like the high velocity shot that like just and it starts like ricocheting around the innards. It, it'd probably just go out like go out the other side. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know, would it? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, so I mean, dust. You're sitting on top. You see a bullet enter one point and blow out the back of the vehicle. <laughs> dust is too busy aiming at the back of the head of the troll. Okay, so, I mean, the troll just got, like, you're aiming at him, and the troll gets clipped sideways slightly, so you have to adjust your aim. Because he got hit with a high-velocity bullet, so. That's armor-piercing. All right, so, Mara, you're up. So, about moving, is that a simple action, or what is that? What is it's that? just like D&D. The movement is separate. Walk? Uh, no, it's not. It's not separate? What? I don't think it's separate. It's, mm. I'm pretty sure it's simple to walk and complex to run. And then you can also sprint if you use a Yeah, but isn't it... Oh, but wait, you still have two actions, so you can use one to run and one to do a simple attack. One to walk. You can you can have two simple actions. Okay. Or one complex. Okay, so I guess movement is considered... Alright, so it's not like D&D. So, what's your run speed? Or what's your movement speed? I'm not moving very far, just like right here. Okay. -ish. I'm gonna shoot through the hole in the wall at the, uh... It's a real tiny point. hole, so... Eh, it's... it's fine. It's, it's about to become bigger. Speed. Yeah, so it's you see the hole where the light's hole. coming in and you're gonna shoot out of that hole. Which yeah. is likely... let's see, is that gonna cause... Let's, let's just roll on that. Uh, no, you will not have a decrease in... You won't have to deal with the decrease caused by the wall, because you're... It's a pretty weak... It's weakened already from the armor-piercing bullet. The glass, on the other hand, maybe that... What's... I don't know. Will that stop you? Uh, the glass... The glass will stop you, because you'll blow out the rest of the glass. Along with damaging the structure of the vehicle. Well, of course. So, I mean, you got... First, you got gauze shot. So, and then it goes out through the wall, the hole in the wall, causing a bigger hole in the wall. This place is... I don't even think you can resell this place with the amount of damage we're doing to it. <laughs> it's only to the front end. Yeah, That's still, it. it's like, yeah, this place is... Where are the cops during all? Well, the cops are right there, <laughs> so... They're just watching. Yeah, they're just watching this go down. Like, they're not trying to get too involved with this. Like, this is our business. So, out through that, hits the vehicle... Which is, it's not just going to hit the glass, it's going to hit the the whole structure of the vehicle. Or is it like, are you aiming for the windshield? Yeah, it's the goal. Is to okay, so aim for the windshield, which at minimum it'll only shave maybe 4 damage, which is like, you'll still have 14 still going through. And then we roll this guy's soak. Which I don't think he'll survive. Like, that's... It's 14 versus 10. That's pure physical damage. He survives, apparently. Huh. Yeah, Mara's not having a good day. Well, he's got like 18 armor, so... He's got a pretty high armor rating. So... 
Hits him. Physical damage. 14, so he only takes 7 physical damage. Isn't there something about people getting knocked down if they take so much damage? Yeah, he, he gets knocked down, clear. Like, he gets, like, Isn't he takes one... It's kind of weird, like, he takes one in the shoulder, and then he takes one in the same shoulder, but this one, like, blows a chunk out of him. Both of which exit the van. Um, let's check the structure. Well, I mean, the van gets hit. What's the van's body? Let me double-check that. Um, if, if, like, if it's just going through the glass, and then mm -hmm. all of the damage is dealt to the troll, then... Like, it won't do any damage to the van. Okay, so yeah, it just leaves the same exit. It leaves another exit hole, like, out of the back. So, I mean, this guy, he's got, like, a chunk missing out of his left shoulder from where he got blasted. And then there's dust on the roof. Still aiming, still trying to aim after he got shot twice. Uh, Torb, what's your plan? Like, you're you're just changing music now. Well, I mean, they're fighting people yeah. in vehicles outside at this point, aren't they? <laughs> you're getting paid to do what you're doing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That's the funny if you bit. Could jam, if, if you could continue jamming the signals, I could fuck with them even more. <laughs> so, so, he's asking you to take over the jamming, so. Ah, that's easy. So, I mean... The, your deck is going to be out of order after that, though. Yeah, that's the, that's the kicker. That's the so, issue. I mean, he's asking you, basically, to stop what you're doing and continue the jamming. Eh, why not? Okay, so, I mean, you so you unhook your laptop from their network and you decide to, you decide to jam their network. Just mention that it's on a loop and it'll keep playing. Yep, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who's to say I didn't just download the music in there and okay, set it up? It's like, yeah, just download yeah, the music into the, <laughs> into the network... All right, so it's still playing on a loop. You have like a playlist installed in there. It's it's just got like um classic music selection. Yeah. <laughs> You're just playing through a playlist. All right, and so you swap to jamming. So now, so now, uh, Phase is free to do whatever he's gonna do. That yes. It'll be quick. Don't so worry. So again, it's like these guys are kind of like now they're desperately trying to get out of their vehicle. Because, like, they're getting shot at through the vehicle. They don't know what to do. Like, they're, like, banging their guns against the doors. Doors won't open. Some of them try to shoot out the doors. But, I mean, like, they they don't do enough damage to allow them to get out. This is supposed to be armored. The troll guy's oh, missing is. chunks. Like, he's just lying against the wall. And he's bleeding out pretty badly. There's a hole in the window now. Yeah, there's a nice, there's a big <laughs> hole in the window. They don't want to go out the window because that's where all the shots are coming from. So let's see, is there any surprises in store? I hope not. No, there isn't. <laughs> so thank God. It seems like they're trapped. They don't really have anywhere to go. Okay, so what's Aaron gonna do? Uh, he's gonna be my assistant in this scheme. What is he plan? Um, what is he going to do? I'll tell him about the explosives on the wall. Okay. Which they shot. I mean, the, the, you don't know if the explosives are damaged enough to be unusable. Well, I mean, if it's plastic explosive like C4, yeah, it's not going to so. do shit to it. What, gunfire? Yeah, it's not going to yeah. detonate, but is it usable still? It yeah. should be able to. All right, so. Depending on whether it hit the uh, detonator or not, is whether it's usable. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if there is inert until um, an electrical charges run through it. Well, phase. Yeah. I mean, according to your eyesight, I mean, they hit the they hit the detonator. So now there's just God plastic explosive without a detonator on it. Uh, you had demolitions or hardware, tough, you might be jerry rig something. I, I have hardware. I can. Yeah, he has hardware. Rig. He can jerry rig something. <laughs> Uh, I'll have him recover it for me. So just okay, go so, out there. Yeah. So you're it. you're telling Aaron to go out and get the explosive, which I mean, like they put it on there really sloppily. Like he just easily takes it off, yank it off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, Aaron, he's got he's mostly mechanical, so he's got balls of steel. He'll just um, he just grabs it like it's not an explosive device, and he just hands it to you. Fucking Mosey's on it over there. Just grabs much. It, like Coates is immediately like, like he takes a few steps back like this way. 
And he asked Mars, like, is he always like that? Like, you know, not afraid of dying? <laughs> this stairway to heaven plays in the background as he walks away. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Phase, you now have a thing of plastic explosive. I mean, it's C4, which means, like, these Bro. guys are pretty well equipped, if not inept at their jobs. If you can even call this a job. Well, in this case, I'm going to need that. Ah, oh, it doesn't even roll? The hell? What is it? Uh, hardware. Okay, you have to hit the roll button, and you have to insert all the, insert the numbers. Let me let me double check and see if this is what this happens so when they they reformat a My sheet. My shit's disappearing. 